Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Google Authenticator on Binance. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for you to set up Google Authenticator here on Binance, what we need to do is we first need to access your Binance account. In this case, let's go open up our Binance here. And in this case, what we need to do is we need to access our security settings. So typically you can access this via your homepage here and your profile. Now at the top left on your homepage here, you want to click on the Binance icon. From here, you want to click on your name and you want to choose security. Now under security, you want to look for authenticator app here. Let's go ahead and click that. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on enable. And from here, what we need to do is we need to enter the verification email that will be sent to our, in this case, our Gmail. In this case, let's go open up our email here to uh, verify that. You should see in here. So let's go ahead and copy the verification code here. And we want to click on copy, go back into Binance. And you want to go ahead and paste it. And from here, we should be able to start linking it. Now, the thing here is it's going to give you different instructions on how to basically connect your Google Authenticator app or use it or go use Google Authenticator app as your 2FA. In this case, you could either copy the six-digit six key here or you could scan the QR code that you see on your screen here. Now, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the plus button that you see at the bottom right of the Google Authenticator app. And from then on, you want to choose either scan QR code or enter key. Now, in this case, you want to just give you an idea here. I am going to give you a screenshot here because uh, the screen for Google Authenticator is uh, actually a prosthetic screen. I won't be able to exactly show you what it looks like. But in here, in the Google Authenticator app here, you want to click on the plus button at the bottom right here. And you should be able to see two options, either enter key or scan QR code. So either choose of those two options and either scan your QR code that you see on your previous screen or enter the key that you just copied. Now in this case, uh, just gonna give you an idea here. I wanna go back and or I wanna open up Google Dedicator here, just this one. Just gonna click on the plus button and click on enter setup key. Now you could add an account name here, so I'm just going to say Binance and my email here, and you could go ahead and enter your key. And you wanna either choose time base or counter base. I'm going to use time base here and click on add, and it should add my key here or in this case to Google Dev, uh, my section here for Binance. Now remember to make sure to include also Binance there so that you won't be able to, uh, or you will be able to immediately identify which one is for Binance if you're planning to use this on multiple devices. But in this case, remember the code that you see on your screen here, go back into Binance and click on next. Now the, t the code that you saw on your previous screen, you want to go ahead and basically copy that and enter that into the next screen that you see on Binance. Now, by the way, when you go back into your Tedicator app here, you could go and press and hold on it. It's going to copy it to your clipboard. Go back in here, paste it, click on the submit. And as you can see, the Tedicator app verification has now been added. So as you can see, it's now added. So when we actually go back in here, it should say Authenticator app or has it, in this case, it already has or, or it now has the check next to it means it's now enabled. So whenever you try logging it, it will now request you to use the Authenticator app to verify yourself and basically to be able to log in. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.